Hello everyone. I was working somewhere and I don't know how often they were going to do it, but I was working somewhere that I guess it seemed like there were going to be times where we have to work six to seven days a week. Sometimes, I guess, some weeks we may, I think around that. I was not there long, but from what I heard that it is not really strange for people to work six to seven days a week. And I have an issue with that. Some people may say, Kevin, you are lazy. You know, you can get so much money by working so many hours, blah, 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 blah. But what you have to think about, how long are we going to be on this earth? How long? Are we going to be on this earth for many years? No, not many years. Won't everything you obtain on this earth, won't it be destroyed or whatever else like that? Can you bring your cars, your clothes, your bank accounts, your IRA. Can you bring can you bring anything like that when you die? I don't think you can. So why are you spending most of your time at work? Why are you positioning your life to where you have to work so much? to maintain what you have. Isn't that a waste? You can say I am lazy. You can say that I don't want to amount to much in this life to that second comment. I have to agree with you. I don't want to amount too much in this life because this life is temporary. It is meaningless if my life is not anchored in Jesus Christ. The closer I get to Jesus Christ, it's like the more meaningless this life is. What brings meaning to this life is living by God's rules, placing his principles, living out this life by his principles. I hope this makes sense. So no, I don't want to work no six to seven days a week. For what? For more money? Now, I like money. I like money. But if to obtain much money, I have to give most of my time to working? No. Let me find another way. Let me get like a job that may not be as good or whatever. Yes, I may not make as much money or whatever else like that, but let me get a job and work less hours to where I have more time to do what is important, like teaching and reading the Bible and praying and having time to myself. 
I think many of us are slaves to our jobs. How meaningless is that? Is that all you can say that your life was really about? Like you gave your life to a job and you don't really have anything else other than just working and spending your money? Is that all your life is really about? Honestly, how much of a waste of time is that? Okay, you buy the big house, you buy the three, four cars, you buy all these things ensuring that you have to stay working hard, then you get, what, 60, 70 years old and you almost will die soon. What if... Like, what do you have to say about what your life was really about? When you die and have to stand before God or however it is done, like, what can you really say your life was really about? Working and making money? No ministering to people, not really helping people, just working and buying cars and clothes and living a selfish selfless as well if i am saying selfless right if that is the right word to use lifestyle what point is it i don't want that life i'd rather live low in this life in an earthly manner, but live high in this life by godly standards, if that makes any sense to you. I'd rather live high in a spiritual way on this world, in this world, other than living high in an earthly way in this world. I don't want to sacrifice so much of my time doing meaningless stuff and then die and let me say this we are going to be in eternity more than this existence if i can say that so my life in heaven or should i say my life with god will be longer than my life on this earth or if a person is going to go to the lake of fire that person's life in the lake of fire is going to be longer than their time on this earth I hope this is making sense. So if, I believe I read in Matthew, was it Matthew, when everything is going to be burned? <laughs> so even if I work all my life and buy five homes, five cars, five boats, five everything, it is all going to be destroyed. What do you have to show for, what do you have to show for your life on this earth? When I meet God after death, I want to be pleasing to him. I want my life to speak volumes of how can I say this? I want my life to speak volumes to him like, hey, you know, Kevin did this. You know, he tried to do right. You know, he blah, 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 blah. He did. I want my, I want to make him proud. I don't want him to say, Kevin, you know, you just worked all the time and, and you bought, you know, 
nice cars and you bought nice cars and you ate lobster which i really dislike i never had lobster lobster i don't really like fish and stuff like that but you ate lobster and and you uh traveled all over the world so you lived for yourself and not so much based upon my principles i don't want god to be unhappy with how i lived my life i want my life to have a purpose not so much a purpose like an earthly purpose but a spiritual purpose i hope this makes sense i think many people are living for this earth and not so much for the afterlife I am more concerned about the afterlife than this life because the afterlife is where we are going to be for an eternity. I hope this makes sense, man. I truly hope this makes sense. This is one of the reasons why I don't want to work all the time because it is fruitless. It is fruitless. Yes, you have to pay your bills, but life is more than just working life is more than just working i think life is preparation for the next life for the eternity for eternity don't waste your time with nonsense Yes, I know you want to travel. I know you want to buy a Mercedes and a Maserati. I know you want the same things you see those rich people have on TV. I understand that. I know you want it. But you're wasting your time. You don't, excuse me, you don't know when you are going to die. I don't think any of us knows when we are going to die. So it is best to get right with God now. It is best to live by God's rules, his principles now, while we have the chance other than just living your life, living in a selfish way, caring about mailing yourself and trying to compete with others on this earth in a carnal way what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing i care so less of this world you know some people say they want to live very long on this earth and i am thinking why why do you want to live so long on this earth this earth is cursed i can see if you want to go around and help people with god and stuff like that okay but if you just want to live life in the same manner as you have been living that may say so much about your spiritual life maybe you have no or little connection with god because i think if you have more of a connection with god you will want to leave this earth and not be so much interested in this world. I truly believe that. So anchor your mind more on the spiritual than the earthly. Who wants to live on this earth forever? I don't. Forever? In the way this earth is made, like the way that things are, to where all this corruption and evil and hate and spite and corruption, you want to live here forever? No. I believe in the end, God will change the earth towards the end. Is it the end or towards the end? Let's say he is going to uh, remake the earth. Now, I wouldn't mind living there forever, which I believe we will be in the end. But 
please take heed to what I am saying. Stop wasting your life on nonsense, on foolishness. Just working and working and working. Just obtaining a lot of worldly things that is going to be burnt up. That is going to be destroyed. I believe everything is going to be burnt up. But you are spending most of your living days collecting worthless stuff and not considering so much on what you need in the next life. I believe we will be rewarded not only on earth, but in heaven if we go to heaven based upon what we do according to the Bible. I believe so. So if our rewards is based upon if what we get in the next world is based upon our conduct in this life, why aren't we concentrated on that? Huh? Who cares if you are an earthly loser in this world? I may be an earthly loser in this world, yes. But in a spiritual way, I believe I am so much more. My earthly life doesn't mean so much in a sense. But what I do in Christ means so much more. So I am putting more weight on my spiritual life than my earthly life. I hope this makes sense. Stop working so much. Give time to God. Give time to what he wants us to do in this life. Am I saying I am doing like one million things for God? No. But do something. Change the direction of your life toward the things of God. As of now, I don't really have anything but God. Yes, I have a family and a wife and stuff like that, but Everything I have is really nothing. What is really important is my relationship with God. I hope this makes sense. Let me stop here. God bless you.